Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, This is Reality. Concerning the decline of America and a possible digital global currency, on April 12th, it was reported that the BRICS nations have agreed to create a new common currency, and they have scheduled a meeting in August of 2023 to discuss the issue. First, they will start trading with each other in their own currencies. Second, they will create a new common currency and start trading in that. Third, after their new common currency is established, they will seek to get other nations to use it. The goal is to improve trade among themselves and to weaken the United States. Concerning natural disasters increasing in frequency and in intensity, at the end of the age, Fort Lauderdale, Florida has been averaging 3.52 inches of rain in the month of April. On April 12th, the city received 20 inches of rain in 12 hours. It was characterized as an extreme, historic, record-breaking, life-threatening event. Concerning the signs of the end of the age, on April 10th, one of America's greatest prophecy teachers, Jan Markell, posted an article titled The Setup, 10 Indicators the Hour is Late. Jan's incredible list should convince anyone that knows much about Bible prophecy that the tribulation period is looming. Jan's 10 indicators are below. The world lacks a leader. Several world leaders are now calling for a new form of leadership. The rise to prominence of a globalist outfit the World Economic Forum that is paving the way for a one world government. Under the influence of the WEF, a group of wealthy, unelected leaders has bought and seized control of several governments. The Bible prophesies a coming cashless society. The cashless society is developing now and it only needs to be global by the middle of the tribulation period. We now have artificial intelligence that is intuitive and as intelligent as humans. It is now possible for the false prophet to build a statue of the Antichrist that talks. There is civil unrest and lawlessness in two dozen nations. Jesus said that there will be distress of nations with perplexity at the end of the age. Wars and rumors of wars are stirring. Wars and rumors of wars make the news every day. The days of Noah haunt us. In the days of Noah, there was corruption of all flesh, and the earth was filled with corruption and violence. There was a stunning rise in darkness, as predicted in 2 Timothy 3, verse 13. Today, there is a drastic decline in adherence to biblical truth. There is temple fever among the religious in Israel. Today, there is a growing desire for the Orthodox Jews to rebuild the temple. Concerning persecution increasing at the end of the age, on April 13th, LifeSite News posted an article that said the Family Research Council study shows that violent attacks against U.S. churches are increasing. According to the Family Research Council, in the last five years, there were 420 documented acts of hostility, vandalism, arson, gun incidents, hate crimes, etc at the 397 churches in 45 different states and Washington, D.C., and these incidents are on the rise. Jesus and other writers of Scripture reveal that the hostile acts will continue to increase and people who become believers during the tribulation period will pay with their life. But they will be raised from the dead at the second coming and reign with Jesus during the millennium. Concerning the tribulation period, Jesus said, and except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. I have long believed that this prophecy could be fulfilled using nuclear or biological weapons. It now seems that there is another threat. On April 17th through the 18th, Elon Musk warned that AI has the potential of civilization destruction. Concerning world government, it has been my opinion for several years that the final Gentile world kingdom, Daniel 2, 
will have one central government with one powerful leader called the Antichrist. But before the Antichrist rises to power, the world will be divided into ten regions, or ten toes, or ten groups of nations. There will be a leader over each group, for a total of ten leaders that are called the ten horns, or ten kings in the Bible. It has been my understanding that the globalists have a three-step plan. Divide the world into ten regional trading blocks of nations, a financial or economic new world order. Change the rules to convert the ten regional trading blocks of nations into ten regional political blocks of nations, a political new world order. Merge the ten regional blocks of nations into a one world government. The three nations of the North American continent, the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, would be merged into one region patterned after the European Union. Concerning the world government, it will be headed by a Satan worshiper called the Antichrist, Revelation 13. In a March 30th article by John Watkins, he quoted Michael Schneider. Today, Satan has become one of the hottest spiritual figures in America and that is unlikely to change anytime soon. The following comes from a Newsweek article entitled, The Devil is Front and Center in Movies, TV Shows, Podcasts, and Even Children's Books. There are Satan after school clubs while proliferating Satanist groups have their own political divisions. On top of everything else, a major convention is coming up. It is being billed as the largest satanic gathering in history and is being held in Boston at the end of April. Finally, are you rapture ready?